SpaceX stabilizes SN9 and preps for future Starship flights. NASA and ESA announce the members of Crew-3. And Astra gets to space. So SpaceX had a spectacular first high-altitude flight test. On December 9, the company conducted the first high-altitude Starship test flight, achieving most of its flight test goals. The test was quite awe-inspiring to watch and looked very close to the simulation that Elon unveiled at the 2019 Starship update. I think most SpaceX fans were hoping that the test would be successful, but were still aware of the fact that things could go either way. After all, Starship is designed to be the world's most advanced rocket, and SpaceX is still in the testing phase with Starship. So the likelihood of a failure wasn't ruled out. Elon himself mentioned around a 33.3% chance of the company achieving all of the mission objectives. Despite those points though, the test seemed to surpass many expectations, and by far looked nothing like a conventional rocket test. SpaceX basically nailed all of its flight test goals, with the exception of successfully landing the vehicle. According to Elon, there was a successful ascent, the switchover to header tanks, and precise flap control to landing point. The fuel header tank pressure was low during the landing burn, causing touchdown velocity to be high and caused a rapid unscheduled disassembly. SpaceX investor Steve Jurvetson took a trip to Boca Chica and captured some images which he shared via Twitter on December 12th. The photos give an incredible behind-the-scenes look at the landing site and SN8's remains. The photos and videos of Elon inspecting SN8 are quite reminiscent of the early days of Falcon 9 testing in terms of landing the booster. Although clearly, this time around, the scale and complexity of the rocket has increased dramatically. Again, with SN8 achieving virtually all of its flight test goals, we were expecting a quick transition to SN9, with the transportation of SN9 to the launch pad as early as December 14th. But SpaceX seemed to suffer a bit of a setback. On Friday, December 11th, SN9 toppled off its metal support stand colliding with the interior wall of the high bay. The forward and rear flaps suffered the brunt of the impact. While the tank section looks relatively unscathed from the images captured, it's not quite clear how much internal damage the prototype suffered. On Sunday, December 13th, SpaceX successfully managed to upright the vehicle. And on December 14th, SN9 was initially moved out of the high bay, but then later returned to the high bay for repairs. SpaceX is now in the process of preparing for future testing with Starship prototypes. On December 15, the forward flaps were installed on the SN10 nose cone. The SN12 forward dome section was sleeved, and part of the SN14 nose cone was spotted. Super heavy booster stacking is currently occurring in the high bay. More liquid oxygen has been delivered to the site ahead of SN9 testing. Road closures are now scheduled for December 27th and December 28th. Crew-3 astronauts announced. On Monday, December 14th, NASA and ESA announced that they have selected three astronauts for Crew-3. The three astronauts selected are NASA astronauts Roger Chari and Tom Marshburn, and German ESA astronaut Matthias Mora. According to NASA, Chari and Marshburn will serve as commander and pilot respectively, while Mora will serve as a mission specialist. NASA is currently working with its international partners in the selection of a fourth crew member. Crew-3 will be the first flight to space for both Chari and Morer, and the third flight to the ISS for Marshburn. Marshburn previously served as a member of STS-127 and was part of the Expedition 34-35 crew. Chari became a NASA astronaut in 2017 and is a colonel in the U.S. Air Force, with extensive experience as a test pilot, accumulating over 2,500 hours of flight time. He was recently selected as a member of the Artemis team, and as such is now eligible for trips to the moon as part of NASA's Artemis program. While Moore hasn't been to space just yet, perhaps a pretty interesting fact worth pointing out is that he has participated in an analog mission to Mars. In 2016, he served as a member of NASA's Extreme Environment Mission Operations Analog Mission 21, or NEMO Analog Mission 21. He spent 16 days underwater, according to ESA, as part of a crew testing strategies and tools for future Mars missions. The launch of Crew-2 is currently targeted for spring of 2021, 
According to NASA, there is expected to be some overlap between Crew 2 and Crew 3. So the Crew 3 astronauts should arrive on station before the departure of Crew 2. So late summer or fall 2021. This is also the case with Crew 1 and Crew 2. Crew 3 is expected to be a long duration mission. Small satellite launch company Astra made its second attempt at reaching orbit on December 15th with the launch of its rocket, Rocket 3.2. The launch occurred at 3.55 p.m. Eastern from Kodiak, Alaska. Astra didn't provide live feed to the launch, instead choosing to update followers via Twitter once critical points in the flight test were achieved. At around 4.17 p.m. EST, the company shared its first photos from space. While Astra did reach space with Rocket 3.2's second stage passing the Kármán line and eventually reaching a peak altitude of 390 kilometers, the company was just shy of reaching orbit. The rocket achieved a velocity of 7.2 kilometers per second, just 0.5 short of the 7.68 kilometers per second required to achieve orbit. To achieve the additional velocity, Astra will make changes to the upper stage propellant mixture or more specifically, the ratio of fuel to oxidizer. According to an article from The Verge, residual liquid oxygen was left over in the rocket's tanks. Astra has previously stated that they would need about three attempts to reach orbit, so the launch of Rocket 3.2 is a huge win in terms of staying within their timeline. According to CEO and founder of Astra, Chris Kemp, this outcome surprised us and is certainly a nice Christmas present for the whole team. Next up, Rocket 3.3. On that launch, Astra is expected to carry a payload.